Hey folks, welcome to the video. It's Johnny Keeley here, and this is gonna be one of my uh, simple midweek videos where we talk about sort of one thing that you can improve on your Instagram account. And in this one, we're going to talk about why it is so important to put the time into hashtags. And we're gonna do that by taking a look at some of my own insights. Before we get into it, I'm Johnny Keeley. I am a photographer. This channel is all about photography, creativity, and social media. So if you're looking to improve any one of those things, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. Anyway, so we are going to talk about two of my posts. We're gonna look at the analytics, and these two posts performed very, very differently, and I know exactly why. And I don't really mind because I know exactly why. So hopefully what's gonna happen is you're gonna learn something from this video and you can apply this to your posts moving forward. So the two posts that we're going to talk about is this one up on the screen right now. This is a shot I took a few months ago of a fern in a local woodland. I'm happy with the shot, I really like it. And then the other shot we're gonna talk about is this one here. I'm not the photographer here, I am the person in the shot and I'm showing off a hat that was sent to me by Bailey's Bespoke Store. Uh, they make really nice wooden hat, well, uh, <laughs> they make really nice woolly hats. This is not a sponsored video, it just happens to be about this post. So I think both shots uh, fit my feed well, they fit my audience well, and I'm happy with both of the shots. But each of them performed very, very differently and it's all down to the hashtags. And we talk about on this channel how it's important to choose the right hashtags, to choose niche hashtags, but this is a really good example of why that's important, okay? So let's look at the insights. So first of all, this is the insights for the fern. Um, you can see that, uh, so its entire reach was 19,000 and a half, basically. Uh, from hashtags, 18,000 from hashtags. So the majority of the people that saw this post and engaged with it, was from hashtags. How many people from home? 1,800. I have almost 4,000 followers, so that's not even half of the people who follow me saw it, but 18,000 other people did through the hashtags. How did that happen? Well, the people who do follow me engaged with the post and they hit the save button, hit the like button and commented on it and things like that, which then pushed it into the hashtags because it belonged in those hashtags. Then people from those hashtags liked it, commented on it and hit the save button and all those sorts of things. So Instagram's algorithm was like, okay, these people are enjoying the photo, so we'll show it to more of them. Till it got to the point where it's sort of 18, 19,000 people had seen it. And that was kind of where it ended. I get a few more likes and a bit more engagement on it, but this is a few days ago. So that post is sort of set and done. Now let's look at the other post. Uh, the reach on this one was 1,277, so much, much lower. Uh, you can see from hashtags, there was 49 views from hashtags. So there were some, but there was just 49. Now they may have even come when I'd posted it and that was somebody who was, happened to be in those hashtags seeing it on the most recent, who knows. But from home, 1,377. So it's actually not that different in terms of how many of my followers saw the post, which is interesting because those are the people that I actually wanted to see the post, which is why I don't really mind that this post didn't get the reach that the other one did. Now, please bear in mind that the other one's reach was actually exceptionally high for me. So there is a stark difference between these two, but my average isn't that different to this post here in terms of the people of my followers who saw it. Normally, much more people see it in the hashtags. It's normally around five to 8,000, that sort of thing. But why didn't anyone see it in the hashtags? The point is that for that particular post, I remember just filling it full of fashion, looks, uh, you know, uh, outfit of the day, all those sorts of things. I thought, I know this is a picture of me showing off a hat. I will try all of these fashion-based hashtags. So I posted it, I thought, you know, this could go either way. It could go to no one or it could just blow up and I could become, you know, next global superstar hat model or something like that. Um, but, you know, obviously what happened, I didn't become a global hat model. Uh, and the reason is, is because if you looked at those hashtags, they were just full of a particular type of content. So it, it might be that my post wasn't completely re relevant to those hashtags or the people who were exploring those hashtags. But the other thing that comes into this is that Instagram knows that I am a photographer. It knows that I am a landscape photographer and I do outdoor stuff. It knows that my posts do well in those particular hashtags. So it is confident to share my posts with people who enjoy seeing uh, landscape photography, photography and outdoor based stuff. You know, the algorithm knows that I'm good for that stuff. 
It doesn't know whether I'm good for fashion hashtags, for, you know, menswear hashtags. It doesn't know me for that. And therefore, it's not going to be as confident to show me to that audience. And in fact, the algorithm probably doesn't care whether it shows it to them or not. It sounds kind of crazy, but Instagram really does know the type of content you produce. Or at least it does if you are posting consistently, posting to a particular niche, and you are sharing to hashtags which also share a commonality with that niche. So the summary here is we can look at it like my one post didn't do well in the hashtags. But I think the important thing is here is to remember that my post did do well in the other hashtags. And that's a personal triumph for me. I feel positive about it. And it's because of the amount of work that I've put in over all this time, posting to landscape photography, to outdoors, to woodlands, to plants, to all of those things. I've been consistent in that. So I'm not worried about something that didn't show in hashtags. It showed it to my followers and I'm happy with that. However, I'm gonna see this as a success because it was that my other post did really well. Now, if you've got posts and you're not showing in hashtags, it might be that you need to uh, post more regularly to hashtags which are within that niche. You need to post more of the same type of content so that Instagram learns more about you and it gathers data on the type of people who are interacting with your account, placing you firmly within a niche. Because that's what's happened here is that I've posted outside of my niche and Instagram's gone, oh, I don't know, this is a bit risky. We're not going to show him in the hashtags. So I really hope that that all made sense to you and that that sort of makes a bit more sense as to why it's important to stick to a niche. It's not the negative of not showing in hashtags. It's more the reward of being pushed by the algorithm into a certain niche if it's confident that your content does well in it. That's the, that's the point. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it there. And if you want to see any more of my Instagram videos, I'll leave a couple on the screen right now. If you got something out of this and you want to see more content, just make sure you hit the little round one in the middle and subscribe. And if you do that, I will see you in the next video.